fuck is happening with my hair? Jesus Christ. I'm wearing a Ravenclaw jumper. And before anybody would like to come for me, I have reverted back to my 10 year old self that was obsessed with Harry Potter and everything revolved around Harry Potter. But my love interest has changed from Ron Weasley to Sirius Black. So if anybody else is in love with a character who has about half an hour screen time from eight films, um, let me know because I'm struggling a bit, you know. Yeah, my hair is wet because I've just come out the shower. It doesn't actually look that wet on camera though. It looks pretty shit. I don't know what's happening with that. I just I can't be fucked. I can't be fucked. Okay, so this video is going to be like tips and stuff, ways that I have tried to become more sustainable, I guess, and reduce plastic, stuff like that. I'm not claiming to be an expert. I do still do other things that do contribute to global warming, but at the end of the day, everyone needs to make a few small steps to their life and those are just some things that I've been doing. Don't come at me, I'm not like a vegan or anything, so I'm not doing the most, but just small changes that I didn't even find were that difficult to make, you know, that some of you guys might want to make too. Sustainable living is the way forward so we don't ruin the world of global warming. Even though it's really the big companies and the government they need to do a big change and not us, but hey ho! This is what we do living in a right wing world. Mm. Okay, so first thing, first things first. What's that song? First things first, Emma. Eraser. Most people have razors like this. I didn't for ages. I just use a disposable ones. This part here is metal. It's a subscription service, and they send you these. They come like this in a little thing. My hair stuck to me. I get mine once every three months, I think. I get four. Or is it two months? I think it might be every two months. I get four razor heads. But I might um, change it to once every three months because in the winter I don't shave as much because CBA really. Um, it's Estred. The brand of Estred, for anyone that doesn't know. You probably all know who Estred are if you watch YouTube a lot because literally everyone under the sun has been sponsored by them at some point. Um, but it is that... So it's like this stuff here is like really nice and smooth when you like shape of it and it's vegan and cruelty free which is what we like to hear second thing that i've been doing is um trying to use metal straws or glass straws instead of plastic straws again something that most people do already but it's just pretty simple and pretty easy i do get that sometimes you'll be out and about and you would have forgotten your straw like i've done that before but if they don't do paper straws, then I'll just not use a straw most of the time. I'll refuse not to. I refuse to, but obviously you don't have to be at that extreme. Um, obviously sometimes I might forget, like say if I'm drunk or something. I do have metal straws, but I don't know where they are. You all know what a metal straw looks like. It's a straw that's metal. What more is there to say? Next thing is trying to use um cruelty-free or and or vegan makeup and skincare products again this isn't always that easy especially like at the moment i know there's a lot of things that are out of stock a lot still because of the pandemic um but i mostly use simple skincare and all of that's cruelty free i'm not sure about vegan let me look yeah this toner is cruelty free and vegan and this is simple can you see that <laughs> but yeah um Hair care, I do find more difficult because I have curly hair, so a lot of the cruelty free and vegan stuff that's good for curly hair is more expensive. So if you are on a budget, I do understand where that comes in more difficult at the moment. The shampoo I'm using is £4, which isn't cruelty free, but the one that I want to get that is cruelty free is like 12 so it's obviously quite a bit more money. Also with makeup, I do get that sometimes it is more difficult, especially if you... I don't know, some people just don't think about it and that's fine, but I mostly just use Revolution and they're cruelty free and vegan. Obviously I do have some makeup that aren't cruelty free or vegan, but I am going to try to make a more conscious effort when I am buying them, you know. Another thing is again, buying from sustainable brands. Again, I'm not saying that I never buy from fast fashion because I do. I did a pretty little thing order the other day, like the other day, the other week, but just where you can buy from sustainable um, brands and also small businesses 
you will know I'm about to cook for small businesses, especially my friend M's. Here's her art on my wall, the top one and the bottom one. Uh, this jumper is actually from Etsy, so again, another small business. This necklace and earrings, small businesses. Um, I'm going to do a small business haul, talking about some more small businesses and stuff that I love. But there's more stuff I want to buy and more things I want to test out first. I also think I'm going to do it a bit closer to Christmas because, you know, with Christmas coming up. Christmas presents, Christmas content from the brands, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, obviously I'm not saying never buy from big, business, big businesses because obviously sometimes you need to, if it's cheaper, there's more sizes. I'm too hot with this jumper on, but I don't want to take it off. I don't want to take it off. Yeah, I do get that obviously it's not as easy as not buying from sustainable and small businesses, but like just where you can make in the small change because as well, I've seen firsthand how happy small business owners get with M. She gets so happy every time she gets an order. So, you know, just knowing that you made someone that happy and you've literally made their day is a great feeling. Oh, yeah, I also don't drink cow's milk. Um, I drink soy milk instead of cow's milk. That is part because I am part, I think I am mildly lactose intolerant. Um, so I did it for that reason, but it also does help with the environment. But I do also, um, still eat normal chocolate, normal cheese, normal butter and stuff like that. When I was at uni, I was buying dairy-free butter as well. But at the moment, while I'm at home, it's just easier to just use what's there because I'm saving money. Also, when I was at uni, I was trying to buy more vegetarian meals because, again, helps the planet. But then, you know, some of it's more expensive, some of it you don't like, you know. But I'm always open to trying stuff like that and... I think that's all you can do really isn't it like not saying you have to go full vegan or full vegetarian but like once or twice a week it's not really that hard to just not add chicken to your pasta or something you know or buy vegetarian sausages instead of normal sausages like once a month you know just the little things i also always carry this bottle around with me so i always have a bottle with me so i always reuse that rather than buying drinks which saves plastic and money. Two and one now. Next thing, I talk about this a lot, but I use reusable cotton wool pads for my toner and for my micellar water because I've stopped using makeup wipes. They just look like this. I got them from Amazon and I got 16 for four pound, I think it was. And if you think about how much money you save, because I've had these for a year and a half, maybe two years now, and they're still fine. You do have to wash them. Some of them are stained because obviously, like I said, I use them to take my makeup off. But they're, as long as you wash them, it's fine. I usually hand wash them if they have makeup on just because I find they get set out easier and you can stop the staining quite as badly. Um, but then every now and again, I do chuck them in the washing machine, usually in this bag. This was another great investment. And if you think about how many cotton wool pads I would have used in the time I've had those, because I use toner every day, so that's one cotton wool pad at least a day. And then if I'm wearing makeup, at least three more, you know. So I think it's worth it, worth the investment, and you make a lot less waste. Next thing, a bamboo toothbrush. Can you tell my favourite colour is? Everything so far has been purple that I can pick the colour of. It's a bit of a theme here. Like, and my deodorant's purple, but I'll talk about that later. Yeah, bamboo toothbrush. This is recent. I only got this this week. Um, it's on a subscription service, so you get a new toothbrush. I think it's once every two months, or you can get a year supply in one go. Um, and with it comes these little toothpaste tabs. Um, the jar doesn't come with it. I just had this already. That I got jewelry in. It basically, looks like a little mint. You put it in your mouth and chew it until it's like a paste kind of, and then brush teeth yeah it tastes fine it is a bit weird at first like it is a weird feeling at first because you're like hmm because you kind of want to swallow it but then like you don't you know but um yeah it's fine really you can also get these in your subscription i think they gave me two months worth of those with this so you get both every two months delivered to your door which is really convenient because you don't have to remember to buy a toothbrush or buy toothpaste when you're running out. I think this is the last thing. This is deodorant. Oh yeah, the brand is brush box. You can see the logo here. Yeah. Brush box.
toothbrush box the toothbrush there's obviously loads of different ones but that was just the one that i saw um yeah this is reusable well this is deodorant the, this case is aluminium Al aluminium is that how you say it i know americans say aluminum but is that how british people say it aluminium yeah anyway it's like metal it comes this bit comes off and then the deodorant's like inside it and you twist it to get it to come up can you see that it's coming up and then twist it back this way oh that's fabulous isn't it it doesn't come down any more than that i shouldn't have pulled it up um well, anyway, when you first get it, you like, you get it separately. So you get this thing, you get this thing, but obviously this is like inside it. Do you reckon I could push it back in? You get this part and then you get the top part that I just dropped on the floor. The lid, obviously. Um, you put this part in here like that, and then this part in there like that. And the lid on pretty simple really the brand is wild again i'm pretty sure you get this and one of those refills and then i think it's once every three months you get three more but yeah you get to choose a scent i chose fresh mint it smells nice um there's also a coconut one i want to try like a rose one i think and um orange one you can get these in loads of different colours. There was like pink, a blue, a silver probably. I don't know, I can't remember. But it just saves you chucking this whole thing away because instead of chucking that away, every time you finish with it, you just chuck away the bamboo casing that the thing was in. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's also biodegradable. So that's great too. We love that. We stand that. Oh yeah, one last thing. Um, because I am, I used to travel a lot and um, go to a lot of concerts before Corona hit. Um, just opting for an e-ticket instead of a physical ticket. Obviously saves a lot of paper. There was a point where I was going to London literally like three, four times a week. So obviously that's two tickets if you get a return. That's two tickets each time, which leads to like eight. So if you can get a e-ticket obviously you can't always because if it's like a travel card you have to have a physical one or like certain stations don't have an e-ticket thing and the last thing over lockdown i've been i was reading a lot of books and instead of buying them all i well buying physical books i did buy a few e-books i do prefer to have physical books but if it's like cheaper to get an e-book i just get an e-book because it saves paper saves someone delivering it to your house saves money because some ebooks are literally like 99p so you know also read a lot of fan fictions at the moment my serious work obsession is kind of taken over in that sense <laughs> i think that is all my brain is literally not with it like i've forgotten how to like speak to a camera and my head hurts a bit too Up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you in some way with your life and trying to become more sustainable. Um, if it did, if you learned something new, like you found out about something that you didn't know existed. Like I never knew that like the deodorant existed until I saw it come up as an ad on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and you know, share you find it helpful you know maybe tell a friend like hi this is a really helpful video check it out and subscribe to her because she's a great girl and that's enough of me inflating my own ego stay safe stay happy stay healthy and i will see you again with another video very soon bye